Back when the space shuttle was in operation, it could launch a payload for $54,500 per kilogram. Now, SpaceX Falcon 9 used to access the ISS with just $2,720 per kilogram. The first attempt to land the first stage of Falcon 9 on a ground pad near the launch site occurred in 2015. After many test flights, which most of them were ending up with a fiery explosion, Moreover, in order to increase the efficiency and reduce fuel consumption, they achieved the first complex landing on a drone ship in the middle of the ocean in 2016. This also wasn't easy. They failed many times before the first successful sea landing. Musk has accomplished feats previously thought impossible. In fact, he is a risk taker, an innovator who dares to dream big dreams. More importantly, he has the ability to actually make them happen. The concept of reusing the rocket became traditional, and the company achieved a lot of success by perfecting this incredible feat of engineering while saving a lot of money. Now we are on the verge of testing SpaceX's new giant rocket for the first time. The ideas and suggestions for making better and more economic space flights are increasing. One of these crazy concepts is to catch the super heavy booster with a launch tower arm. The idea of catching rockets out of the sky is not new. Rocket Lab is already planning to catch their electron rocket using parachutes and a helicopter. Also, back in the 60s, NASA considered catching the enormous Saturn V first stage using a helicopter with over 100 meter long rotor blades. In this episode, we will discuss how SpaceX could catch Super Heavy and why this idea is better than using the landing legs. So if you are enjoying our videos so far, consider liking, subscribing, and hitting the notification bell for all future updates. To understand the new landing concept, we need to understand the Starship and its booster. SpaceX started to develop the gigantic Super Heavy rocket booster that will propel the Starship spacecraft to space. The Starship spacecraft and Super Heavy rocket, collectively referred to as Starship, represent a fully reusable transportation system designed to carry both crew and cargo to Earth orbit, Mars, and beyond. It will be the world's most powerful launch vehicle ever developed, with the ability to carry more than 100 metric tons to Earth orbit. This rocket used to be called Big Falcon Rocket BFR, but after science evolved, they renamed it to the Starship Spacecraft and Super Heavy Booster. The towering stainless steel booster called Super Heavy, and it aims to develop a fully reusable launch system. Its main mission is to launch Starship off Earth. So at this point, Starship consists of two stages. The first stage, the booster also called Super Heavy, and second stage, the Starship itself. These two stages are together called the Starship System, which is fully reusable in each stage. The second stage is designed to be a long-duration cargo and passenger-carrying spacecraft and lander. After lifting the Starship out of the thickest parts of the atmosphere, they separate, and then the Super Heavy comes back to Earth to be reused in another mission. At the same time, Starship is getting into orbit with the ability of refueling in space, which is a crucial step for SpaceX to allow its Starship spacecraft to accomplish its missions making journeys to faraway places like the Moon and Mars. Moreover, Starship will be used for Earth-to-Earth -Earth passenger travel. We made a full episode on this topic. Check the link in the description. To achieve this, the Super Heavy has to be ready after several minutes to launch again after landing, which is not an option in all of SpaceX reusable rockets. So bringing the boosters down for soft vertical landings after liftoff on the ground near the launch pad or on autonomous drone ships in the ocean has proved to be impressively functional. But catching it after each flight will be more functional. To explain this, let's take a look at what happens after the Falcon 9 landing. After each landing, the booster cannot be used immediately. It has to be transported back for refurbishment to maintain and replace some components. One of the most important components is the landing legs. They have to be maintained or replaced after landing. Despite the cost of this process, which is assumed to be around 10 million, it takes a long time which is not an option for Starship. Without legs, the Super Heavy will be lighter, which will increase the payload capacity carried to orbit. 
This is where the idea of catching the booster comes in. The rocket will use the grid fins to return the rocket's steer during precise touchdowns, as well as enable the catching process. Also, this would require much more precision than Falcon 9 landing to hit the catch points perfectly. But while the Super Heavy has more engines than the Falcon 9, it gives it the ability to hover, which makes it more precise and easier. Ultimately, catching the booster will be on its final approach using a giant arm attached to the launch tower while the Super Heavy's landing. Then it will thread the needle between these catching arms until they retract inward and lock into place. SpaceX has not released an official render about how the booster will be caught, but Elon Musk tweeted that developing a method to catch the rocket instead of landing it saves mass and cost of legs, which enables immediate repositioning of the booster onto the launch mount and to be ready to refly in under an hour. What do you think? Will this concept come to reality and when? Let's discuss it down below. Thanks for watching.